vouchers, gift cards. That's what we're looking at in this video. Uh, how to set it up, sell a gift card, and then redeem it. Okay, I'm already signed in with somebody with admin rights to do so. Now, I'm also assuming that you've looked at the other video on how to create a product code and also how to create a button. If you haven't done so, please do look at those two videos um, because obviously if you're selling a gift card, you're actually selling a product, so we need to create a product to do that. But I'll quickly just go over it right over the top. So in product management or maintenance, I've already created the product. I've called the gift card. I've got the sell price at zero. In the profile tab, the department is voucher and options. I've ticked voucher product and voucher voucher link to account. Once you've done that, you press save, exit. Now on the sales screen, you'll see the gift card button. If I press shift and press the button, it gives you the commands box, if you like, the screen button editor. So you can see the product code is allocated in here in the command line. Okay. Now once that's done, we need to create a tender. So in the manager screen, go to back office, utilities, system menu, tenders, and in the drop down menu, we'll give you all the tenders here. Choose a free one. Uh, obviously I made one earlier and I named it gift card. In the options tab, it's active, it's compulsory entry, you use a cash draw, and the customer account is also ticked. Do not tick compulsory customer. In colors tab, you can choose the color of the text as well as the color of the box. Uh, obviously that's on the subtotal screen for gift cards and I'll show you that shortly. Once you've done that, press save and exit. In the settings tab, you need to change a couple of settings in here as well. So you have to be careful in here because uh, you can play around with awfully lots of different things that could um, cause all sorts of wonderful faults. So we're looking at, um, what we're we looking at? Credit limit, that's it. So I'm typing credit limit in here. Allow items to be added when over the credit limit is no and ignore the credit limit exceeding warnings is no. Once you've done that, you press save. Just obviously they may be on a, a yes setting. Once you've done that, go into zero, uh, type zero into the box you're saying, and compulsory price on a zero price items must be set to yes. Once you've done that, you press save. Finally, once that's saved, we go back to the top, go to customers, we need to create a group. Now I've already created one, but in here, if you press the drop down menu, you'll see that uh, I've created one. You can call it what, you can call it number two, number three, number four, number five, whatever it's not been used already. In this, in this case, I've actually named it voucher. So we'll call it voucher. And the account is ticked and club account is also ticked. The reason for that is it prints the balance details on the receipt. Okay, press save. Exit. That's it done. So sales review, sales mode. Do not press exit. That quits you into Windows. Now you can sign in and sell a gift card at this point. So sign in, gift card. It asks you for the details. So create next, number 16, the name. So we'll say my name, address, town, postcode, Telephone numbers, mobile numbers, and email addresses, as well as a bunch of uh, comments can be added in here. The keyboard is here. And if you press it again, it goes there. But obviously, you can plug a USB keyboard in and use that if you want to. You don't have to fill it, all of this in. Obviously, the name is filled in. Press save, and that's it. It asks you how much you sold the gift card for. So say if I sold it for fifty pounds, accept. And if it's cash, you just press cash at this point. This is a shortcut. If not, subtotal. And you've got cards and cash. So you just press cash. That's it done. Print a receipt. And on that receipt, it will tell you that you sold a gift card. It tells you how much you sold it for. It also tells you the number, the account number that's been allocated, which was number 16, and the name of that person, which is obviously John, and the balance of credit that you've got, which is £50. So now we want to redeem that. So you'd sign in. Go to pizzas, for example and we need to go over the 50 pound mark. I think that's what I put in, didn't I? So I'll do a few of them. There we go, 51 pounds. Subtotal, gift card, remember, it's red, because we that's how we programmed it to be. Prompt you for who it was, and it was number 16. 
and you can see that the available funds is £50 because it's the voucher, the current balance, as well as the transaction value, and you can see there's a shortfall of £1. So you press accept at this point, it will prompt you, you press yes, and it's asking for the remi uh, remainder of the, of, the, the, of the balance. So in this case, it's £1. So you can just press cash, and that's it done. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Any questions, please do let me know. And thanks for watching.